No, definitely. Back then in the days, um, the dream was to be was to become Formula One uh, driver. That's that's more or less the, the dream everybody has. Um, I'm quite happy with what I managed to achieve in Formula, uh, winning the Italian Formula Three Championship and the FIA Formula Two Championship, and getting really close to to uh, eventually make the step to Formula One. Um, I was lucky enough to, to have the opportunity to test for three different Formula One teams, uh, getting a lot of experience and uh, um, all those tests, every single kilometer I had the chance to do in a Formula One car um, gave, improved me definitely as a driver, uh, not only on the technical side but also on the, uh, on the sportive side and um, you know, staying in touch with, uh, with all those um, um, engineers of, of the different teams managed to, to, to learn a lot and to, to grow up as a driver and this we definitely those experiences are helping me even right now in what I'm doing now in GTs. Yes, yeah so being you know uh, a racing driver full time is obviously a privilege um, and it's obviously that the best and uh, job in my opinion you can have obviously because it's my dream and it's always been my passion so I'm, I'm really happy um, with what I'm doing right now where I'm now but it's not always easy obviously because it depends always what, what kind of, of goals you have in life and what you want to achieve and if you have high expectations, high goals and the pressure on yourself basically you, you turn your whole life around, around what you're doing and uh, and that's the only way in order to be uh, well prepared yourself to, to go for, for certain kind of uh, goals. At the end of the day, I'm in Lamborghini since 2014. Um, I started at Lamborghini as a young driver. Giorgio Sana, our head of motorsport, yeah, gave me the opportunity to, to, um, to race in, in 2014 in the Lamborghini Super Trofeo and in the Italian GT Championship towards the end of the year. And um, yeah, that gave me the chance to be Lamborghini factory driver and competing in, in the most important uh, international GT categories where Lamborghini is uh, present with, uh, with, with their cars. To compare a Formula One car with a GT3 car is obviously quite difficult because um, generally what I can say, having driven many, many cars uh, in the arch of my career, I can say that uh, obviously a Formula One car is something unique. You cannot really compare it to any other race car. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a Formula Two car, Formula Three car, or obviously a closed cockpit car, as it's, it can be a DTM car or a GT car. In that case, obviously, a Formula One car is a car that um, has a lot of aerodynamic grip, um, mechanical grip, and a lot of power at the same time. Uh, you have a regulation where you're trying with your engineers to get the maximum out of, uh, out of yeah, what's possible. Obviously, it requir requires a different kind of dr driving style compared to, to a GT car. GT3 car is a lot heavier. Uh, it's based on the road production car. Uh, obviously, much more extreme compared to, to the road version um, of the Lamborghini Huracan, for example. Um, but you have to stay within some uh, regulations and uh, you have to respect that. Um, and, um, and therefore, the driving experience is obviously um, different, as I said before, compared to a Formula car. And um, it's uh, very important to be um, smooth, precise, and uh, trying to understand what the car needs from the driver in order to get the maximum out of the car. Because when you push too much, you won't be fast. And if you obviously don't push enough or not enough, then you're not fast uh, either. So it's really important to find a balance between how far you can go from the driving style and what the car can, can give you. And uh, if you try to balance that, uh, you will be fast.